Hi, my name is Dr. Kudzai Nombo. I am a board certified OBGYN at Winona. When I was in, in group private practice, I had several patients come to for their annual exam. For example, at age 50, they would come in for an annual. And I remember thinking and feeling like I just hope and pray they don't talk about hot flashes, <laughs> night sweats. I just, you know, cause I didn't feel qualified to be able to prescribe hormone replacement therapy. So I would offer them black cohosh, soy, some of the natural herbal remedies to help with the menopausal symptoms, knowing that it really takes a good six to eight weeks before those would actually kick in and having to counsel them that, yeah, that may just cut down, you know, on the severity of your symptoms, but I couldn't even guarantee them that their symptoms would go away. So for me, I did have a lot of patients who would come in but my solution was really herbal supplements to be able to treat the symptoms. I remember when the opportunity to work with Winona came up, I decided, okay, well, this is, you know, my opportunity to really educate myself, uh, look at some of the more recent data, the more recent information, the more recent studies, and um, also to look at that the WHI and see what were the issues with that study. Because at the same time, I want to do right by my patients. I never want to put them in a situation where I'm causing harm, but at the same time, I also want to be able to help them um, get relief if, if it's safe. I would personally take HRT if I was experiencing symptoms related to menopause or perimenopause. For example, hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, brain fog, issues with my memory that were a result of the less estrogen that's being produced by my ovaries, I would do that because I believe that it is a very safe way not only to help those symptoms, but also to help with some of the more long-term benefits, heart health, bone health, sexual health. At Winona, we choose to use bioidentical hormones. And by the term bioidentical, I usually call it body identical. The structure of the estrogen and progesterone that we use is the same in structure as what your ovary naturally produces. Your body responds to these medications in the same way as if your ovary produced them. Synthetic hormones, on the other hand, are different in that they are most of all synthesized in a lab and have a very different chemical structure. So the estrogen and progesterone within synthetic hormones may produce a very different response within your body. 